Right, hello everyone. Um, <laughs> another small cunning plan. Hazel and I have been discussing the Jeep and uh, what we've decided because we're really going to keep this and my knees aren't getting much better and I'm struggling to push the clutch we've decided to change it to an auto gearbox I know it had one originally but that was an American torque flight and couldn't get an engine to fit it so or anything else so because I've gone for the Rover V8 I've got a an old Rover SD1 gearbox which is away being serviced at the moment so to bring the gear ratio right at the moment this Dana 44 axle has got a 3.73 to 1 gear ratio which is far too I can never remember it far too high so the engine's revving too much for the for the miles an hour you're doing so the the old Rover SD1 the gear ratio was 3.08 to 1 so I've been and bought some new gears um, this is the uh, ring and pinion gear 3.07 to 1 which is near as damn it is to swearing the new install kit stupid amount of money so I'm gonna swap them over into this axle that should be fun right I shan't bore you with the whole process there's many many of them on the internet the way they're done so I'll bring you back when we're uh, when we've got all the gubbins off and I'll show you the inside so cheers for now I'll see you shortly right there's the uh, dirty innards now this oil's not too bad actually because when we decided to do this job I took all this diff I took the diff casing off to make sure even though it's got the tags on the casing to say what gear ratio it was I wanted to check the gears just in case somebody hadn't changed it in the meantime or previously um, so anyway this is uh, fairly clean because I put new oil in so it's not too bad but I won't use it again I'll put new oil in again so it's pretty stinky horrible stuff but um, anyway that's the that's the lovely insides now the one thing you really must do now really and technically this is upside down it wants to be the other way around and then that will be the top um, I ought to do that really to, so I don't get um, don't get confused before I do it and then the one thing you must do is mark the carriers the tops and which side they go because you can't swap them around um, even though the new bearings are going in there that doesn't really matter I think you've got to make sure they stay the right side because they'll be machined to fit either side so anyway that's the plan so we'll get on and take that bit apart and uh, I'll bring you back shortly cheers for now right there we are that's the uh, ring gear out. Still got to take the pinion shaft out. What I'm amazed at, there are no shims. None at all. That must have been a damn good fit. It came out quite easily. That must have been a damn good fit, because normally they'd have shims in them. But anyway, I've got a shim pack just in case we need to go. But whatever happens, that's been... According to the gear... Thing. that's a 79 gear so that's uh, 40 40 some 41 years old 42 years old 41 which I'm quite surprised at because they must have changed that maybe when they changed the big engine to the Audi engine must have done I can't understand why they put that ring gear in it but why well, they didn't put the ring gear on putting in but there you go that's a standard one that's that's a very standard a three seven three to one so anyway there we go hopefully somebody out there will want a three seven three to one gear okay 
onwards and upwards. I'm going to take the pinion out now, so I'll be back uh, shortly. Right, okay, welcome back. I've got the new pinion wheel in. God, that was a bloody game. Getting that to be... Uh... Oh, let me just move this. To getting that the right um, tension. In out, in out, in out, in out. Different shim, different shim, different shim. But finally we've got there. So, right, I'm just going to, I've just started taking the bolts off the crown wheel. So, I'll see if I can put you down somewhere and see what we're doing. Right, hopefully, hopefully. You, ouch, you bugger. Let's see what we're doing. Right. Perfect. Shame. Anybody want a 1979 Dana 44 3.73 to 1 gear ratio? Let me know. Because I've got one. Right. God, that's messy. Go get the bloody bearings off yet. You and that. You and that, perfect. But, got new ones, so I'll change them. I still can't believe they didn't have any shims in. Amazing. There you go. Right, we've got to get these off somehow. I've got a tool, but it's pretty useless, so I'll go figure that one out. Right, I'll figure that one out, and I'll be back. Right, hello everyone. Right, I've got the ring gear in. Now the clearance on this is um, 9,000. 9,000 millimetres is 0.23 so this is what I've got if you can see that 1, 2, 3 0.23 there you go I haven't got a thou gauge a little bit changes as it as it moves the meter. There you go, 0.2324. Well, it's moved anyway. 23, yeah, 0 0.23, so that's 9,000 backlash. There you go, right, so that's perfect. I've got to do the um, test pattern for the, the grease paint now, make sure it's in the right place. So uh, that's the next job. This took me nearly all bloody day, this has. But there you go, never mind, it's one of them things. Right, I'll do the test paint and see how that goes. See you in a bit. Okay. Right, let me just get a torch. Hopefully you can see this. Just done a wear pattern. And that's right in the centre. Well, 
it's a little bit towards one end but that is good um, that's the uh, which is it that the drive side and the coast side is a little bit there you go almost the center as well is that good or what brilliant right I'm gonna call that done then I'll check the torque on those and that's about that's all I've got left right I'll see you when it's all back together cheers for now all right there it is all painted ready to go back on finished just got to put it back on the Jeep now mm. hope everything goes well right thanks for watching next project will probably be putting the automatic gearbox in which I've now got back here it is That's been fully serviced, cost an arm and a leg. So the new torque converter, which of course is sprayed blue, obviously. It was bare metal and I don't want it to rust. So, so that'll be the next job. Right, cheers, see you later.